Hey, my loves, we have four piles today, guys. I hope I'm gonna be able to help you with your Libra full moon. What's coming in for your manifestations at this time? Full moon manifestation. Anyway, I feel like I'm gonna sing everything today, so hope you're cool with it. I'm pretty sure by like the middle of the readings, I'll probably be exhausted, so I might not do it as much, but I will sing probably for the first two. Anyway, I've got yellow, pink, purple, orange, pile one, two, three, four. I'd like you to make your selection, guys. Thank you so much for being here, and if you want a personal reading with me, please check all the info. You know the drill. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Hey, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Yellow Candle, this is your reading. Um, oh, hold on trying to turn this down a little bit it's kind of distracting I've got this some um, chakra meditation on in, in the background clear my energy girl anyway no really we have a yellow candle here so let's find out spirit can we get a little bit about pile one what's pile one going through for this Libra full moon manifestation pile one all right, let's see. Your overall energy, we have, ooh, Will and Orca Elders. I feel like you're connecting more with the divine. You're getting a little bit more knowledgeable about things in past lives, too, I feel. This is just more groundedness, more bringing it to practical terms. Because uh, I'm seeing somebody bringing heaven to earth, like bringing higher awareness down to the 3D. That's what you're doing. You're, you're moving out a lot of junk from your 3D world in order to make space for this higher consciousness. But this higher consciousness very much includes becoming aware and seeing that other people in your life, uh, wow, they've been there a while, haven't they? Hang, hang on. You have like a whole bunch of different kind of whales on this card. You have a lot of spirit guides and ancestors that are helping you. There's a lot here, okay? We've got the humpback whale. We've got belugas. We've got um, a killer whale and a whole, a dolphins, a whole bunch of things. You have a lot. You're like tuning into spirit guides, your ancestors. You're starting to learn more about karmic patterns too that are being severed, being cut, being learned from. Um, from past lives and you're like really ending it right now and it feels very much like in relationships with the Libra full moon that makes sense okay so what I'm gonna do guys that's just the overall energy what I'm gonna do is I've got five questions we're gonna pull five cards all right spirit let's get some information here for pile one at this time is this in frame Oh, guys, I never can tell. Like, I never can tell. The way the camera is. Okay. All right. I have a boo-boo on my fingers, so I, I can't barely shuffle these. Oh, my gosh. I, I feel like I'm such a klutz. Okay, I can't. They're going to all. It's going to look kind of weird while I shuffle today. All right. That's why God gave us five fingers. Who needs the index finger, right? Oh, shit. I do. I just threw all my cards on the floor. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I got to pause it and pick them up. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I literally said I don't need all my fingers and then I threw the cards on the floor. Anyway, um, the, the cards that fell were power and breath. So there might be some breath work you're doing right now. You might be meditating a little bit more. Congratulations. Good for you. Look at this green man synergy. I really feel this is like you being more synergistic with the environment around you and also with your spirit guides. It feels very much like you are starting to embody your higher self a lot more and you're like more in tune with your elders like with ancestors and stuff it's really it's coming through that way okay so let's find out the overall challenge what's your big challenge that you're facing in your life right now okay um i'm instantly getting you guys are doing too too much at too, too too much too fast but it's not your fault because you're getting a lot of new energy so it's good this is a busy time for you but you're gonna need to take a breath and i think this is why your meditation is coming in so heavily because I almost feel like I I can't take a, a breath. Like I'm I'm kind of anxious. So that might be what this is about. Blessings. Wow. I just said you're literally at the time of blessings. Like a lot of things are coming in. If you have clients or your business is picking up. I feel your business is picking up right now if you are a business owner. Wow. The miracles are endless and invisible. It might be. It's just it's starting to trickle in. And I think what the challenge for you right now is not seeing it 
maybe it hasn't fully come to fruition yet, but you can feel it. You can feel an energy is shifting. I know you can feel it and it's going to happen. You're absolutely right about that. But I really am out of breath. I feel like you guys are a little, you need to really recharge your batteries, guys. Take a moment. Okay. Cause whew, I feel like really out of breath. Miracles and blessings, literally. I mean, can you even believe that? Why am I out of breath? Why do I feel so exhausted? That might be what's exhausting you is maybe you've done so much. Like you don't even know where the time goes in a day. It's going by so fast because these blessings are coming in like one right after another, right after another, right after another. It won't stop. And it's almost hard for you to catch a breath. Yeah. Wow. You, you might even feel drained a little bit, but it, it's it's kind of a good drained in a way, though. You know, it doesn't feel like energy vampires. This, in fact, feels like you're finally getting what's due to you, what's owed to you right now. So it's strange. I would feel that your challenge, your big challenge right now is like taking a breath and like focusing on you. Because I feel like right now so many people are asking for your help and attention that you might feel a little bit run down but again it's not energy vampires i feel like these people are actually giving you what you're worth like they're paying you more they're they're people that are not just takers these are good people that need help that need you they don't even really need you these people just want you but i feel this is a clients these are clients for you or something at work it's like people who are actually starting to recognize you you have miracles and blessings i can't even believe that but if anything it's just you taking a second to just kind of sit with yourself for a while Okay, so anyway, let's see, what are you purging right now during the full moon? What's purging? Individuality. Bring your ideas to life and creation. Oh my God, I cannot believe the, syn the synchronicity here. All three cards are talking about expressing your creative abilities. What you're purging right now is a lot of blockages in your sacral chakra. Also to your solar, your solar plexus, a place of uh, um, your confidence. You are right now, the thing that you're purging the most is that you look a little bit different. You act a little bit different and it's really cool. And people love that. You're letting go of your fear of being seen as weird or quirky or a little bit different. It's like, whatever. Shit, it's fun. It's fun. Like, I love being me. You know what I mean? It's like, what's that song by Megan Trainer? I'm hearing it. It's like, if I was you. I'd want to be me too. That's what I'm getting. I feel like right now you're purging this, this um, fear of being yourself. That is what you're purging. And your creations are coming to life. Your dreams are more enhanced now. In fact, you might even be seeing spirit guides and ancestors in your dreams. Holla. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. But like you have, really, you have a really cool personality and you're really quirky. And I feel like that was me needing to confirm for you that yes, you're a little bit different, but it's freaking hilarious, okay? And anybody that has a problem with it, they can go through me. Come at me though. No, I'm for real though. You have a really cute personality and it's adorable. And anybody that doesn't think so, well, they can just get the boot, okay? All right, anyway, moving on. This is what's coming in to help you right now. What is coming in to assist you? I don't even know if you need help, okay? <laughs> like, you got it down. I don't know. Oh, no way. You guys saw me shuffle this on camera. Like, you freaking saw it. This is why I love shuffling on camera, even with my boo-boo. I love it. Because look at this. You have ancestors and ancestors. I can't even... I cannot even. What is coming in to help you? Connection to ancestors. I freaking called it. You're welcome. Wow. Time to collaborate with your ancestors. Time to collaborate. And the moon. This is high priestess energy all day or a day. Oh my God. What's coming in to help you, bro? Your ancestors are showing themselves. Like they're literally showing themselves to you. And you're collaborating with them. You're super fun. Okay. Super lively. And... They are super proud of you. My God, this is great energy. I love it. I, lo I love this. Wow. Okay. Pile one. Get it, girl. How will this help you? How are they helping you with this collaboration here? <gasps> oh my God, guys. This is the best reading I've ever done in my entire life. I really honestly, I feel in the, be the best reading I've ever given ever, period. Fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Make your dreams real. 
spider spirit, which you might be seeing spiders a lot right now, which are symbols of abundance. And then invocation ceremony. Again, you are doing some sort of ritual or manifestation on this full moon in order to bring something big into fruition. And it feels like your ancestors are helping guide you to what you really want, what your soul is really yearning for. I cannot believe this. This is such a spiritual reading. Like this is such a spiritual pile. I love it. I freaking love it. And then your next big happy manifestation. Let's see what it is. Don't forget, reminder, now is a lucky time with the rabbit and orphan. Okay, look, I'm getting that this reminder here is about booking your calendar. Your calendar is about to be full. I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm literally seeing a calendar and post-it notes. Like, don't forget, schedule this, pencil this in. You're, you're going to be penciling in a lot of clients or a lot of business opportunities. Something is coming towards you where you're going to help other people and you're going to get your reward for that. Okay. So orphan, this might be about you, uh, needing to like help people who also feel orphaned, who don't feel very close to their ancestors or their, um, um, lineage, you know, and then rabbit spirit. This is a lucky time. Wow. Spring is going to be very good for you. But what I'm getting is you're going to be helping people who feel very alone, very trapped, very orphaned. Okay. Um, and, and I feel like your schedule is getting really booked. It's about to be super busy. Oh, I just heard, I just heard cheddar. I just heard making that cheddar. <laughs> One of your spirit guides or your ancestors, they're so cute too. They have like this really adorable personality. Like this is all about creation. This is all about creating your abundance. This is all about manifesting your physical manifestations of abundance. I feel like a lot of you, it's money, it's clients, it's new business, it's something like that, and it's taking off for you, and it's creativity, okay? That's like the main message here, and you're, you're bringing into fruition more contact with your ancestors on the other side. So, love it, guys. Thank you. If you want a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description. I love you. Bye-bye. Hey, Pink Candle, thank you so much for stopping by, Pile 2. Let's find out what you're manifesting this full moon. Um, there's a little bit more of a serious energy that I'm feeling here. I'm not, not serious as in the, the star system or whatever. I mean serious as in, like, you're not as playful as you once were. I think you're getting down to business about something that's really important and hasn't been taken care of for some time, and it needs to be handled. And I, I know you're, like, aware that it needs to be handled now. It's like spring cleaning, but, like, before spring. <laughs> Um, it's something that like you need to do in order to get free. That's what I feel. Some sort of contract is ending. Some sort of relationship is ending. Something is ending. And I know you need, you know, it needs to be done and it is being done. Like, I feel that's what's being done here for you. So let's get your overall energy. I've not looked at this yet. Yeah. See, I feel so busy, but I feel it's very focused, very driven. You need to get free from something. And I'm not sure what it is, but we'll get there in a second. Wow. We are Hathors. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Oh my God, I can't even read. Um, but I really am kind of getting like, this might be your mother or like a feminine energy in your life that you're kind of like trying to move on from. And it makes sense with Libra because the full moon in Libra, it's very much about relationships, right? Equal give and take, equal exchange, recognizing where things went wrong and why. And I feel this is very much an emotional, loving relationship that you're starting to realize you can't really get fulfilled with anymore. There's no fulfillment here. There's zero fulfillment. You might have just had to learn that the hard way. All right, let's see if I can get some messages. Spirit, can we get some information, please, for pile two? Full moon in Libra. What is coming in? What do you need to know? Where do you need to go? I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm, I just heard we, we gots to go. <laughs> like, I, you can't be there anymore. It might be a house that you live in or something. You just don't feel like you belong or any, anything. I'm hearing deserve. You might not think you deserve it. Maybe there's something going on that you just don't feel you deserve anymore. Maybe it's bad treatment. I don't know. All right, Spirit, can I get some? I'm going to go two with that one, okay? Let's do this. What is your main challenge at this time? Oh my God, right there. I freaking called it. Tend to the small things. Like I said, you have to like do little contractual things like tend to the small things like pack or move or sign a contract or end a contract, something like that. It's like writing and like, yeah, tend to the small things. That's exactly what I'm getting. Wow. Chaos. It's too chaotic where you're at. I feel you need to really <gasps> shut up. I just said Libra. Libra full moon is all about justice. You could be going to court or doing a divorce, signing a divorce decree, something like that. 
And then we have Emergence here, Dragonfly. That screams Libra to me. I don't know why, but it's very much you emerging as this victorious warrior. I feel you've been really trying your best to overcome the situation, but like nobody was giving you the time of day. They didn't give you the respect you deserved. And now it's like you're taking authority into your own hands, okay? So you are really getting busy about something that's very important to you because it's too chaotic. If you keep letting it go, it's going to be too chaotic. So this Libra full moon is you really getting down to brass tacks, figuring out your shit. That's what this is about, okay? That's definitely what this full moon is. Um, let's see. What are you purging at this time? Think on your feet, Fox Spirit, High Priestess of Fire, and Synergy. Very interesting energy. Very cool. You're actually not purging as much as you're acquiring. This is new energy you're taking on, not so much leaving. Um, you might be leaving a lot of, um, well, I wasn't going to say fiery people, but I just heard fiery people like Leo Saggi Aries. Um, anyway, I got the high priestess of fire and think on your feet with synergy. What this is telling me is like, you're going to be starting to be a lot more. I'm not saying sneaky because that's not like, I don't. Yeah, no, it's not sneaky, but it's just sly in a way. Like you don't have to tell everybody your business. And I feel like you were for a while and it kind of bit you in the butt. What I feel is happening now is you're getting a lot more synergistic with like, I'll only give to people who give to me. And I know that seems kind of selfish, but honestly, who said selfish was bad? That's what I want to know. Anyway, I feel like right now you're getting more, um, um, oh my God, I'm hearing words. I'm hearing spirit tell me, I just heard expertise now. You might be going to somebody who's in the law, who's in, who's in law or the legal system or judiciary or like, um, what am I getting? Um, um, stocks and bonds, banking, something like that, like t crossing your T's, dotting your I's kind of thing. Um, you're bringing on this new energy of like passion, independence, independence and liberation. Like I got my shit together. I don't need you. This is very, very good energy. It feel, it can kind of feel scary. I got seven minus two is five. So two, five, seven. It can feel kind of scary. If you feel like you're alone doing this, um, but you're actually starting to bring in your masculine and your feminine. You see how high priestess and then you have man. You're bringing in the two. Something about being a little bit more sly, guys. I feel like spirit needs me to tell you that you need to be cautious about who you share your information with. Do not gossip. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. I feel like somebody's trying to test you. Don't do it. Don't do it. And don't tell them your business. Okay. You don't need to don't. No, 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 no. Uh, doesn't make you a bad person if you keep some secrets to yourself, okay? All right. What's coming in to help you at this time, Spirit? <gasps> shut the front door! I literally just said independent. I shit you not. That says claim your independence. I freaking cannot. I cannot. I literally cannot. Yeah. Oh my God. Didn't I say, did I say trapped? I felt like you felt trapped. You're liberating yourself with bla Oh, she, honey. Oh my God. Oh my, you're about to be free, free, free. Ooh, you're getting free from something. <laughs> oh, damn. Woo, I can't even believe this. You are getting independent from someone. Someone's had their like claws in you. And I'm seeing with the cat. It's like, and the, and the fox. Cl claws, like, ah. <laughs> there's been claws here. Um, yeah, no, you guys are like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Keep your secrets to yourself. You're going to get free. You're breaking free this Libra season or uh, Libra uh, full moon. I don't, I didn't mean to say Libra season. Maybe that's important for you. I don't know. Um, how will it help you? How will this independence help you? Well, obviously it's giving you blessings. Ceremony, invocation. Maybe if you want to get married again, your divorce will allow you to get married again one day. If it's, if it's not that, it, well, it could be anything else. Um, complicated. I see the number 11. You could want a twin flame or a soulmate. Okay. That's just a message for a couple of you. But if you do, you have to get out of this bind first. Let it shine. Peacock spirit. The number 10. Four plus six is 10. You're definitely getting out of this. I mean, this is an ending of a cycle, guys. How is this going to help? How is this going to help you? First of all, if you've ever been scared of performing magic or doing something a little bit taboo like that, like ritualistic or magic or something, uh, spells, spell candles, stuff like that. First of all, you're going to start doing that again. And mirror magic would be really good for you too. But what I am getting is like, you're going to start doing that. And 
you're going to be able to formulate some sort of plan to get out of a complicated situation. Something more, something less complicated than this, but it's still complicated and you need an answer for it. So I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to use these blessings and your independence to get you some sort of um, blessing here. And it feels like it's going to help you get out of a bind. This is beautiful. What a cool energy you guys have. And then your next happy manifestation. Spirit, can you please? <sighs> Thank you. I need to calm my shit. I need to calm down because I was getting too antsy. I'm too nervous. I feel like you might be a little bit nervous. This is a lot. This is a lot of energy. This is you really scared about the next step because this is a big change. You've got the number five here and we also have 10. So it's a cycle ending. It's kind of scary, but I feel you need to take a deep breath. Okay. And I need to take a deep breath. Could even be going into birth, child labor, <laughs> childbirth. <laughs> like, I got birth as a portal here. You might literally be pregnant. There's this mannequin here on this card that is pregnant. It's strange. It's kind of creepy if you ask me, but whatever. Um, and then with all this law stuff, like you could be having a baby soon or getting pregnant. That's just a message for somebody. Okay, your next happy manifestation. Surrender now the fledgling and orphan very interesting this energy is telling me nine ten wait nine ten eleven what's nine plus three twelve okay see i like how this goes from ten eleven twelve nine ten eleven twelve there's like there it's like a theme you're really progressing in your life though you might not even see it your next big blessing involves bringing in people who are a little bit a little bit more edgy like you, a little bit more into the occult, a little bit more into like some taboo things that normally people don't talk about. Okay, definitely ritualistic stuff. Um I feel very much occultism of uh, esotericism, things like maybe you practice the occult, practice witchcraft. I feel like you're going to be bringing in a lot of people like that. That's your next, that's your next big blessing. Um, cause I got with the moth spirit and the fledgling. These both are very, they're just misunderstood. The moth is misunderstood. It's not a butterfly. It's, it's darker version, but it's like, it's still beautiful. It's got its own beautiful mis mystique and mystery mystery. So, um, and then orphan, I feel like you're going to find other people who have been orphaned like you who really don't belong. And this could be a mother that has abandoned you or you feel rejected by, um, or a, a parent. Okay. Especially a parent I'm getting here. So yeah, your next big blessing is bringing in people who understand you and they're very much into what you're into. So I know you guys are having a hard time and I'm so sorry for that. If you want a personal reading with me, please check all the information down below. Guys, I love you with all my heart. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful people. Purple, purple people. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Hi, guys. Uh, this is your overall energy for Libra full moon manifestations. What are you bringing in? What's changing at this time? I have five questions. We're going to throw five cards. So let's get right into it. Not seen this yet. So. Woo! Uh, trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Overall energy, time is not running out. You might be noticing that like, I'm seeing this woman in three different places here. You might be dreaming and getting like, you might be noticing your time traveling, which is really just parallel universes. You're like astral traveling or lucid dreaming or something. You're like really, really into it. You might even be really getting into that right now. Like, like obsessed, it's cool. It's cool. I'm obsessed too. This card's talking to me though. Trust the timing. What's this about? I feel like it's the opposite. Like you can't trust the timing. Like you are right now not trusting something. You're not trusting what your eyes are seeing. You're trusting more what your mind can see. There's something that your mind is seeing, but your eyes are not understanding. Hold on. No, it's that you're trusting what your mind sees, not what your physical eyes see. That's your suggestion here. Your physical eyes are seeing things distorted and it's it's not even your fault. It's because you are looking at the 3D world. Wow, this makes sense with the purple here for the, the crown chakra. Your crown and third eye, oh, hello, woke, honey. Here's the thing I'm getting. You are not supposed to be trusting your 3D eyes at this time. Your 3D eyes are a reflection that you're already seeing what you've already manifested. It's things that's already come in. 
You don't need to look at this reality. Nah, you need to bypass this reality in order to see what the next phase is. I feel like you're starting to tune in to this other parallel universe. You're like astral projecting or getting visions, meditating, seeing stuff like that. You don't trust this one. I'm almost getting that. Like you don't trust what you're seeing right now in the 3D. Like you don't trust it and you shouldn't. It, you shouldn't. It's falling down. It's collapsing all around you. You shouldn't be trusting it. So it's, it's interesting. It's like... It might be because somebody else built this reality for you. Like, how much of it is your reality? Did you create it? Or are you finding it really hard to... Are you, tr are you finding it hard to trust your senses? That's what I'm getting. Is that difficult for you right now? Wow, grounding. If so, you might want to get a little bit grounded. That's what I think is the problem. Guys, go outside, hug a tree. You might be doing that. In fact, that might be what's helping you dream better. Lucid dream, astral projection, stuff like that. You need to go outside and get grounded, okay? I I tried it earlier with putting my feet in the cement, which you'd be surprised. I didn't think it would work. It's like the best thing ever. Like, I love it. I sat outside on the, porti on the, portio, on the patio porch area and got grounded. I wet the cement first because it's more of a, it's a better conductor of electricity that way. It's the natural electricity from Mother Earth that radiates up into your feet and it completely res resolves free radicals in your body. Like we have an overabundance of free radicals due to electricity and screen time. And so Mother Earth charges those, it takes those free radicals and completely removes it from your body. It can remove inflammation, mental illness, a whole bunch of stuff. Like, it can make you feel more grounded. So I highly suggest going out into dirt, wet grass, or cement, okay? Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose nor treat, but you know trees are awesome. Anyway, hug one, beach. All right, let's do this. What is it that your biggest challenge is right now? What are you, What is your biggest challenge? Oh my God, I cannot believe how many times this card has come out. I think in every single reading, I am pretty sure. I think this has come out in every reading so far in your pile three. No way. First of all, this, this one came from two decks. There's two decks here. Do you know the odds of that happening? Very slim. You got the blessings. You got trust in the magic, the white raven, white raven, trust in the magic and love again. You don't trust in your 3D eyes right now because you're starting to trust in magic. You're starting to trust in things that are not seen. Very much not seen. The mystical realm. Like, you're starting to see that, like, your biggest challenge right now is almost like not feeling crazy. <laughs> it might even feel like you feel crazy right now. Again, grounding will so help you with that, okay? Going out, hugging a tree, even for 15 minutes. It'll help so much, I promise you. And did you know that the invention of rubber-soled shoes was like a plot by the devil? First of all, rubber is an insulator. It does not allow electricity to flow through your body. Duh, they knew that. They knew that, and they don't allow you to completely remove these free radicals from your body. Like I am so damn passionate about grounding now or earthing as it's called. I'm kind of pissed that like none of us knew about this. Anyway, anyway, I need to call my shit, honey. Anyway, here's the thing. Trust in the magic. Exactly. Notice how this says trust in the timing. Trust in the timing. And this says trust in the magic. Again, time is an illusion and you're starting to realize this. Love I'm hearing that song, love broke through. Something, 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 something. I was a hopeless fool. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know the words. Anyway, uh, love here. Le blessings, love, and trust the magic. You are starting to see that a different reality exists beyond this one. Look at this. It almost looks like a parallel universe above this one. Dude, you're like, you're freaking gone, bruh. You're like, you're somewhere else, okay? You're literally tuning in uh, through the veil. That's what you're doing. This is like the biggest, this is the most spiritual pile. Um, the other two are kind of crazy, but this one, you're like, you're full blown, you're full blown, blown gone, honey. You're gone. You're gone. You're, you're in a different realm. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> you're gone. 
Anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> God, what are you purging right now with the Libra full moon? What are you purging? Denial. Oh my God. If that is not, what did I say? Y'all feel crazy. Y'all feel crazy. You were in denial. You were in denial of this. Not only were you in denial of the spiritual world, but like you're starting to have to deny your 3D physical reality. It's almost like I'm, 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 I'm almost hearing somebody come up to you and say something like, I'm on full lockdown right now. And you're like, beach, that's not my reality. Get out of here. That's not my reality. I can go wherever I want. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Like, that's not my reality. That's, this just is not your reality. What you're seeing out there, that's not your reality. What you're hearing out there, that's not your reality. You're denying all of it. You're like, nah, that's, that's actually completely false. That's fake news, bro. Bye. Invocation and owl spirit. You can see clearly now and then ceremony. This is magic. You can see clearly the magic at play. Another seven with the purple. Dude, you're, you are so, your crown chakra, your crown chakra is the most active part of you, I feel, right now. Holy shit. It is like, do you feel insane? Like, are you starting to feel cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Because I'm not playing. You, It's like you can't even tell what is reality and what is fiction. All of it's real. All of it's real. What is, what is a dream anyway? What is a dream? It's still reality. You were still there. You experienced it, right? I mean, if, if reality is what you can taste, touch, and feel, and see, and, and experience, then dreams are reality. Then you've just gone to some other place, you know? So, wow, I feel your mind is opening wide, wide open. Your third eye and your crown, honey. Notice how this raven's wearing a crown, and so is the owl. Very, very much high priestess energy here. Wow. What? Oh my god, honey. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got to keep going cuz I don't want to get I don't want to I got to keep going. I don't want to lose you cuz you're you're already in the 5D, 6D. You'll you'll just leave. <laughs> you'll like pop out of your body and leave me here. Okay, so what's coming in to help you right now? I'm done. I'm literally, I'm done. You saw me shuffle this. You saw me freaking shuffle and you just heard me say high priestess. There it is. High priestess of fire. You just saw me do it. Why is this not focusing? High priestess of fire. Orphan. I swear to everything. This one also came out in all three readings. Oh my God. Oh my God. I shuffled. It's all random. Guys, the, it, I think this one might have come out in all three. The blessings came out in all three and orphan. So we've got ceremony, orphan, and blessings. Oh my God. We're all uniting with our soul family. Like that's what's happening here. And then we have over, overcome any obstacle. So what's coming in to help? Rhino spirit. Yeah, bulldozing through, like not giving a shit. Look at this. This rhino even has um a crown on his freaking horn. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting like this uh this rate this um this message about like it's a it's a t it's the same size crown, but you're you're you are the rhino and you're bigger now. So you're, you're, you're bigger because you're one with the all you're with the everything. Now you're one with the nothing. And that's why this, this rhino has what seems like a smaller crown, but it's really just, you're bigger. You're bigger because you're bigger than this 3d reality. This is insane. All right. How will it help you? How will this help you? Sanctuary. I like how the orphan and sanctuary are kind of talking to me the same way. Dream the world into being, you see how there's two stalks here. It's like you're right in the middle, teetering both sides. Wow. It's like you're right in the middle as a medium, the medium between the two and belonging. I love that I just said we're all finding our soul family and there's sanctuary for orphans and belonging. You are finding your home, but your home is not here. Your home is not in the 3D yet. That's why you can't trust this shit. 
When people try to tell you what is in this world, deny, deny, deny. I'm hearing, no thanks. That's not my reality. You know, I remember one time, I got to tell you this. I remember one time I was on a live stream and we were talking about trolls. And literally as we were talking about trolls, one came in the room. And everybody was like talking about, well, so one of my moderators booted them from the chat, right? And everybody was talking about like how crazy it was that we were just talking about trolls and one came in and I'm like, what the freak are you talking about? They're like, <laughs> that troll that just came in. I was like, I don't, I didn't see one. What do you mean? And I like scrolled up. I looked through the comments. I'm like, I don't, I don't see it guys. And they're like, yeah, at like 1029 or whatever time. They're like, yeah, look up, look up. It, it was this person and they even said his name and, and they're like, yeah, look, look up a little bit. And so I, I scrolled up at 1029 and I'm like, bro, there's nothing there. There's literally no evidence of a troll at all. And I heard spirit tell me, it's not in your reality. This is not your reality. That's theirs. Their reality had a troll. Mine didn't. And so a friend of mine actually t uh, sent a snapshot of it to my email after the live stream. And so it was, it definitely happened, but it did not happen on my end. And Spirit was, it was a huge lesson in the live stream at that time with the girls that uh, we were, we were trying to differentiate between what is already established in everybody else's reality and what is your reality. My reality does not involve trolls. My reality involves, if there are any people looking like trolls, it's really just people who are a little bit scared to admit that they're going through an awakening. It's not really trolls. Um, and if they say anything nasty, well, it is what it is. They're just heartbroken. They're just in a lower vibrational state. They're not really trolls. In my reality, there are no trolls. But in that one, for all those girls, they had the same reality. And mine is just not that way. So what I'm getting is like, you need to start denying what you see with your physical eyes and start looking at the higher things. Okay. Very much. So you're going through an, in uh, I can't believe this. You have the number five, one plus four, one plus four, the number five with high priestess. And then you have the number five with 50 here. You have five, 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 five. That is four fives. Holy shnikes. You're going through a big, massive awakening right now, guys. Like, incredible. Freaking huge. I don't know where these were. I'm done. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What is your next big happy manifestation? Individuality. Seven. We have we have two 11s now, too. We got 11, 11 here. Interesting. We got farm and we got you are never alone. Interesting. The farm could be a literal thing. Uh, maybe you are visiting some sort of like country. There might be some country you're visiting like country farm side or stand or something. I don't know. That could be literal for some of you, but I'm really kind of me. I'm, I'm feeling that this is more like you taking the individual approach here. You see how this horse doesn't really have a tail. Look at that. I mean, I, I'm sorry that I'm putting a horse's butt in your face. Sorry, not Sorry. <laughs> Look at that, though, for real, though. He doesn't even have a tail. I mean, <laughs> I think it's hysterical that I'm, like, trying to focus in on a horse's ass. <laughs> nah, that's funny as shit. You know it. Anyway, here's the thing. Your individuality, you're a little bit different. There's something a little bit off about you, but it's hilarious. Or it's like really cool. It's really quirky. All right. And then you have You Are Never Alone. I feel like you guys are very well manifesting your dream family in right now. People who are a lot more like ethical, moral, upstanding, like they like organic foods, non-GMO. Like they like to maybe be vegan or vegetarian. Just there's something more natural and organic about the types of people you're bringing in. I feel this is not only people, but probably food as well. So any, yeah, especially with the fruit here and the denial. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is your reading. I hope it helped you. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, all the information's below. I love you. Bye-bye. Last but not least, pile four. Hello, orange pile. Let's find out what is happening with you at this time. Pile four, spirit. Can I tune in, please? Libra full moon manifestations. What is coming in for you guys? I've got five questions I wrote beforehand. Pull five cards. All right, let's see. This is your overall energy. I've not looked yet. I'm trying to just tune in for a second. I'm surprised at how high spirit, highly spiritual and 
beautiful these readings have been. They're so mystical and magical. It's freaking nuts to me. I It's just blowing my mind, really. Um, let's see what's coming in for you. Probably something wild as well. Oh, the great severing. Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Interesting. We are in Aries season and there is a lot of fire here in the orange candle for me. I'm seeing a lot of orange. This could be sacral and root chakra. You're probably dealing with a lot of anger. A lot of repressed emotions are coming to the surface for you. I'm getting very driven. I feel right now I'm very much in Mars energy. It could be in Aries or Scorpio. I have that somewhere have in your chart. Um... I feel like you're starting to see some things and I think it's got you a little mad. It's got you a little upset. Not going to lie. It might be something you've avoided for a while, but it feels like it's coming to the surface and it's like, you're, there's no avoiding it anymore, guys. There's no avoiding it. All right, let's see. Let's see what it is. We'll get some information. Spirit, can I get some messages, please? For pile four, what is happening in this Libra full moon? Where are they manifesting? Thank you, thank you, God. Thank you. The great severing. This is you ending something, like something very important, I feel. It was very much destined for you. It was a karmic pattern. I feel like you, you ended it. Libra is all about balancing the scales. And it feels very much like maybe a relationship, too. But something you were quite passionate about, maybe it wasn't working out the way you wanted it to. This was something I feel destined on your path to end. It was destined for you to experience and now it's destined to end. So let's see what this is. Spirit, can I get a little bit of information about the overall challenge for Pile 4? What are they going through at this time? Believe in yourself, baby, and conclusion. Look, this is... Wow, this could be a family member, somebody you've known since you were a child. I feel this is somebody you've known or something that has, look, I am not kidding. This has everything to do with childhood. This is you ending a toxic child karmic pattern, guys. Something from childhood. It's insane. This is like generational. This is lineage. This is you ending something that has happened in your family for like centuries. That is nuts. You're ending something with either maybe a parent a sibling it's something your parents did i think it has to do with the fact that they didn't believe in your goals and dreams and hopes and ambitions something bigger than them they didn't believe in that stuff i'm seeing a man word woodworking um which is telling me it's a masculine energy and i feel it was very much like he had to have tangible results in his hand nothing metaphysical nothing nothing he can't see nothing elusive it has to be like storing up well you can't make money like that you can't you can't do that we do it like this here in this house that's that's when i'm getting this energy here they could be an aries but i'm getting emperor energy this is a masculine in your life it's like you can't do that we're not we don't do that here what you do is this and this and this and that's what you're breaking away from that's the big conflict right now um it has to do with from a child you're not be be believing in yourself in the in the big picture for your life because you were trying so much to please them. This is ending. Um, I'm also too hearing if you stuttered as a child or like, because I just stuttered. I was like, b -b 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 believe in yourself. It's it's that you didn't feel at all vulnerable around them because they, they would instantly throw anything that you had that you wanted. They would instantly be like, no, that's, that's not how we do things here. They could be very religious into the Bible, into some very... Um, rigid beliefs nah you're like no i i can't do this shit anymore hmm and i really am hearing too that's not how we make money no you need to invest in this i'm even seeing this looks like a nest it's it's a baby um basket it's but it looks like a nest i'm hearing nest egg and then you got the squirrel acorns here it's almost like no you need to invest it in this you invest it in the stock market like this you invest it here you invest, and it's almost like no nah, no 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 it's my money i'll do it whatever i damn well please is seven plus seven plus five is 12 12 12 interesting you mirrored this person for a really long time they could be born in December. I'm getting Capricorn energy. And also, too, I'm getting, like, mirror. You mirrored this person for a really long time. This is a karmic cycle that is ending, guys. Okay? Because it just allowed you to never believe in yourself. You were not believing in yourself. Okay? And who you truly are at your core. It just wouldn't allow you to believe in yourself, this person. It's too, they're, they're, they're too rigid. 
Spirit is moving you on from this, okay? And they're too aggressive, too. I don't like their energy. It's very combative, like fighting all the time. It's bullshit, okay? So what are you purging at this time for pile four? Wow, what did I just say about being so volatile and like combative? Volcano, if this, look at this, guys. Anger, what are you letting go of? Anger. You're letting go of this person who's always angry too. It's like nothing's ever good enough for this person. I very much feel it's a dad or a brother. Oh my God almighty. You were obedient to them for long enough. There's the Libra justice scales right there and the number 12. I shit you not. Look at this. Another number 12. Four plus eight. I, dude, I'm shook. I'm literally shook. You were so... Oh, nah. You're done. You're like, no, 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 no. It's bullshit. It's not even your anger. It's theirs. I feel this is why you're mirroring them. So now is a lucky time. This is what you're purging. You're purging like, like being very, very prey-like. Um, how do I word this? Uh, sensitive. It's not even, that's a good thing. Being sensitive is a good thing, but not when it's hunting season. No, no, <laughs> you're, you're kind of releasing this person cause they're too angry and this is not your anger. You're too beautiful. You're too beautiful for this. What's coming in to help you right now? What is coming in? What energy is coming in to assist you? Turn knowledge into wisdom, Native American, and loyalty. Let me see what this is. I like how there's obedience and loyalty in the same spread. And then Native American and wolf spirit. This very much feels like you could be Native American. That, that could be a literal thing, but I feel this has more to do with like unwritten knowledge like you knowing things that are a lot deeper than than you it's like you you're one in, you're tune, tuning into the land you're tuning into mother nature here surrounding yourself in nature too might be helping you right now so you might be getting this urge to go outside a lot more and i feel like that's really going to assist you as well there might be somebody coming in that could be native american okay because i'm really getting wolf spirit with native american like this this could literally be someone who has Native American roots. Very indigenous roots, okay? This person is here to heal you. This is gonna be a healer. If this is not you, this is someone else coming in to heal you and help you sever these ties. This is insane. Wow, wow, what a cool reading. All right, let's see. How will this energy coming in help you? This is a lot of knowledge. This is wisdom. This is you tuning into earth magic, like earth healing rituals. Like you could be listening to... um like trance music, you could be dancing. There's like rhythm. I'm hearing like drums and rhythmic, very earth, very earthy tones with that, okay? You're more loyal to Mother Earth than you are to this person, which is great. This person is too volatile. And I feel if you went to go tell them that they are that way, they just like, they'd yell at you. Nah, you're leaving this behind. So this is awesome. This, this Libra full moon is really helping you with this. So uh, I just heard dissolve anger, dissolve anger. How will this help you? <whistles> strength. I got Leo vibes here. You might be dealing with a Leo. And then I also got strength card for Leo as well. Um, it's going to make you so wise and so strong. And I even in this, this looks almost like the tower card to me. It looks like it's on fire in a way, doesn't it? It, it looks so, it looks like a volcano. Look at this. It's like this anger, this this rage that you have experienced with this person, that is fueling you. Like you are learning how to be kinder after having learned what this nasty energy is. See the big picture and knighthood. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm getting a message here about your soon. Didn't I say see the big picture? I don't know. I felt like earlier I said, this is not your energy. Like you're so much bigger than this. And here it is, you getting more in tune with the universe and seeing that this is actually what helped you grow. There's a lot of lessons and growth that came from this, this knighthood, this person who's always charged up, always ready for battle, always ready to fight, bucking the system. This person is not 
kind at all. And you are starting to see the big picture of this in that this taught you how to be a warrior. Strength and knighthood. This taught you how to be a badass, but like in a kind way, you will never be this person. Ever. Ever. You will never allow yourself to be this person. And that is what you're starting to learn. This is how it's helping you. Seeing the big picture, giraffe spirit, you're bringing a gentle touch. You're never going to be this person. But you have taken all of the strength from like you learning all these lessons. You now have that and you see the big picture and knowing that this is how you were supposed to be living. This is why this is ending because you've already learned it. And you no longer want to be this person. So you're mirroring them and you're walking away because it's not who you are. I feel in this person's energy, you get really, really low too. Like you have low energy around them. They're, they're, they sap your energy. Okay. Your next big happy manifestation. <gasps> oh my God. I love, I love it. Guys. Be fearless and bold. What did I just say? Like, you are so fucking strong. You're fearless. You're fearless. I feel you challenge this person, too. Like, you're the type of person that just won't take it. Like, if somebody's being bullied and that goes for you, you'll just be like, I don't think so. Come at me again? Excuse me? I'm sorry. What now? <laughs> like, you're, you're very bold and you're very fearless. And this person is actually intimidated and scared of you. I want to tell you that right now. We have summer solstice, radiance, and wishing. Be fearless and bold, radiance, and wishing. Hold on. I need a little bit more. Spirit, can I get, what are they wishing for with this radiance? I feel like something is coming in summer. Something is happening for you in summer. What is this that they're wishing for? You might want to start speaking up more to this person, having more courage to do so. That's going to be happening in summer. You're going to be speaking your truth a lot more to this person. I'm noticing two different decks. And these are the same flowers. Look at that. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. But those are the same. Are those daisies? What in the heck, Aroni? Those are two different decks and they have the same flower. That's strange. Wait, what? What? what does that mean? Are those, what are those? I don't know. Daffodils, daisies, I don't know. I never noticed that there's a butterfly on that one though. Wow, you guys have no idea like how beautiful you really are. <laughs> Loyalty and be boldless, be, be fearless and bold is what I was trying to say. Loyal to what? What is this loyalty here? King of Swords to yourself, speaking up, being bold about this person. See, I told you, I feel this person's quite narcissistic. I think that's why the knighthood is here. This is the King of Swords that you're dealing with. They literally could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but regardless, you're you're being much more bold to this person. You're being more fearless towards yourself. Look at this, Eight of Swords in reverse. You guys, I shit you not. Eight of Swords in reverse. You're being more fearless. And there's the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords versus the King of Swords. That's you, the Knight going against the King. I just heard King's orders. You are really learning how to differentiate your energy from their energy. And then there's the Page of Swords. This is insane. I can't believe all, and the Three of Swords in reverse. <laughs> The swords here represent air um, and a lot of communication. In summer, you will start defending yourself. And in summer, you will start speaking up for yourself. And you will be like, absolutely not. You will cut the cords completely. This Libra full moon is really getting you to see how bad it is. How volatile this person is versus you. But you are a ruthless warrior. There is something so strong about you. I hope you see it. I hope you do. Uh, your next manifestation is probably some sort of opportunity for you to really speak your truth to this person. That's what I would say. One more for wishing. What are they wishing for at this time? What is pile four wishing for at this time? No. What is pile four wishing for at this time, please, spirit? The Empress. Judgment and the Eight of Cups. That's what I'm talking about. You leaving. You leaving. You are like waiting for the perfect opportunity for you to stand in your truth as the Empress 
and 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 issue some karma. That's what I see. I mean, I'm not saying it's your you are not the issuer of karma, but like, look, sometimes we're the messengers of karma. Uh, there will be something quite profound happening in communication with you and this person very soon, and it will have everything to do with you setting the, the you setting them straight verbally like telling them nah this is done that's what i feel is coming in for you okay and it's good you're gonna feel so bold when you do it too anyway guys i hope this reading helped you i love you i'm sending you a lot of love Bye bye